Oh, this is cool. Very, very busy show today. Laszlo's in doing the L.A. Noir, which comes out a, in a week, right? A week from today. Oh, yeah. Looks great, uh, Laszlo. Another big hit for Rockstar Games, certainly. Yeah. I guess Matt Paxson from Hoarders had to leave, huh? I guess he's not yeah, that he big was, of a fan of our show. Uh, he was going to do another show. He's very, uh, very, very busy. busy with this book, yeah. With his book, The Secret Lies of Hoarders by it's, Matt uh, Paxson. Amazon.com. Paxed in. Available now. Right. This is probably the most sober I've ever been seeing Warren play. Really? <laughs> I have been tripping my face off at some of his shows. <laughs> well, we got Warren Haynes in yeah. studio, which uh, I, I'm a newer fan. I'm not going to lie to you. You go way back with Warren? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know how far back you could say, but uh, when you guys did the Phil and Friends stuff, Especially with Joan Osborne, those shows she tore the roof off. You guys together it was like her voice and your guitar. Oh, uh, yeah, we did uh, PNC Bank. Oh, that was a great, yeah, you great were show. That one, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was a fun band. We we had a lot of, a lot of great shows with that band. Yeah, they took a really interesting twist on a lot of dead tunes. Really? Yeah, it was a Warren twist. It was well, it was yeah. it was nice because Warren's uh, pretty much in the dead. The Almond Brothers, Government Mule. And now, and now, just solo as well. Yeah, this is actually my first solo record in a long time, so uh, I'm going to be promoting it for quite a while. It's called Man in Motion. I was reading the reviews in the paper today. The four stars in the New York paper, brother. Wow, damn! Four stars for Warren's new album. Cool, dude. He is an animal. You can go to a music festival, and he plays with every band. Yeah, he comes <laughs> out with every band. Yeah. Well, you know, some of these places like Bonnaroo and stuff, you know everybody. You know, somebody says, hey, you want to play? What am I going to say? No, I, I don't want to play. <laughs> Just the fact, though, he, uh, he's so matter-of-fact about it. It's like bands are asking you to come up and play with them. He's, he's well, the yeah. go-to guy. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it's, it's a small world, though, more so than people think. I think, you know, musicians get to know each other, and you do the same kind of circuit, and uh, it, I'd rather play than than watch. You know, it's like when you watch sports, it makes you want to play. Right, right. right. And I, I just saw you at the Beacon Theater. I go every year for the Allman Brothers. God damn, it was a good year. Great show. Yeah. Oh, he's about a, I would need a. I just needed a history. I'm sorry. He, he's bas so, he's basically the Allman Brothers at this point. <laughs> but he was part of all the original Allman. No, 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 no. I've been there 22 years. Jesus! Wow! Wow! 22 years! Wow! Yeah, I know, and I'm only 24. So. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, I joined in 1989. Wow. The band was broken up from 81 until 89. Then we did a reunion tour in 89, and we all thought it was just for a year, just to see what happens. You know, wow, that went good. Let's do it again. And it mm. just kept going. Mm -hmm. And were you there when... Uh when what's his name left? Oh, why can I remember? Dicky Betts. No, Dicky Betts. I went. And, I I saw him play at a bar on Long Island and nearly got my fucking face well, kicked in. Well, we might have a Dicky Betts story too. What happened? I I walked in were and I Dick, was really were you Dicky's wife, dude. Oops. I've never seen so many Harleys <laughs> outside. That story. A lot of fucking Harleys outside. And I go in and I'm standing there and all of a sudden a beer bottle smashes on the back of my elbow. I turn around. This huge biker goes. You stand into my old lady's way. She can't see. I was like, sorry, sir. <laughs> you didn't turn around and go, hey, fucko. No. You know who I am. <laughs> I was like, sorry, sir. I'll go to the back. I, di I didn't know you were in the Allen Brothers for 22 years. That would be years. fun to see Laszlo get beat yeah. up like a, a friggin' Grand Theft Auto the character. Allman? Was it, that wasn't Mike, Mike McDonald, was it? No. You know nothing no. about That's Doobie Brothers. That's the Doobie. Sorry. Doobie. Sorry. I'm just asking. I'm trying to learn, motherfucker. You know a lot about white history. Got, I'll got, give you that. But you Jesus Christ, I'm trying to learn. He walked in. You learn. thought it was meatloaf. <laughs> no, I didn't, you that was a, uh, asshole. Uh, no, you got Greg Allman. Dwayne Allman <laughs> died in a motorcycle accident in the 70s. Early 70s. I know, right? I know yeah. the Allman brothers. But I'm and just, then you, you had know, Dickie Betts. It gets confusing. Then you got Trucks. Uh, and that's about where so I So an Allman out. brothers in rap world? As far as they're, the they're, they're Jay-Z or they're little... What are they? <laughs> what would the Allman brothers be in the rap world? Oh, my God. Uh, What's the level? Public them enemy? With, you have to go with a classic, yeah. um, and respected, and sugar very hill gang. respected, okay. a respected sugar, sugar hill gang. gang. <laughs> yes, a respected. No, I think PE is that's public enemy. <laughs> yes, respected old school, and old, okay. classic. Yeah. Okay, but, fair enough. But but Patrice, respected. you know a little bit about white boy music. Yes, you, I you do. Don't, you don't know I, the Allman Brothers. I, I, when I hear, I get introduced weird. When I first got introduced to a lot of white music was um, wrestling. Uh, when they used to allow you to have regular songs as your intro yeah. music so i was like oh shit that's nice and i got into it a little bit but the, i know if i hear some famous give it, almond give brothers a famous riff almond brothers riff that uh, he would absolutely know well, let's see there's Just. that's 
yeah. one we out. Yeah. It's Moon Patrol. Uh, Jessica. Yeah. That's uh, Damn that it. Grammy, yeah. Grammy hey, award. Now these are ones that these are ones that I heard that one. I just got a one that you that you you go a black person would and should know this. Well, yeah, I don't know about. Should, but well, cool. uh, you would go okay. I'll put this. One I think one. most black people would like the Allman Brothers because the music oh, yeah. was born out of soul music and jazz and blues. And, no, I mean, but a know. hit though, so I can go okay, okay, oh, uh, no, okay. The yeah. biggest hit was Ramblin' Man, but uh, there's songs like Whippin' Post, which I was a, a, a yeah. big what Lord, hit. I was born yeah, yeah. a Ramblin' Man. Sing. I know that, but yeah. I never took the time to go. Oh, that's the Allman Brothers. That's, yeah, that's yeah. just like well, that's not nice. That's that's like um, that song. Rock and roll, you go. I know that, <laughs> but you go. I'm not yeah, gonna go fucking learn that. that. Compare the all no, I Gallagher. fucking did it. Don't okay, put me in a don't, right. don't try to be Fox Newsy on me. I'm saying Fox Newsy. I got scared. Don't try to play me like I'm. I'm trying to learn right now, and I'm not. I'm gonna have to go and and, and get up. I didn't because I thought Almond Brothers was more. Uh, bluesy or whatever it, it than, well, than are, Ramblin' yeah, Man, yeah. but I know I didn't think that uh, was that's like Ramblin' a hit. Ramblin' that's Man a hit. was uh, that's the most country that the Allman Brothers ever got, but it was also a big hit. Yeah, uh, and you're right, most of the stuff is more bluesy. Mm -hmm. so I like. I'm, just trying to learn. I'm a fan of blue sky. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, yep. Blue I, sky is a beautiful song. I love blue sky. Yeah. Love the guitar work on that. That was Damn. a Dickie well, Betts song. Why don't we hear yeah. right, uh, yeah, Dickie Betts song. Warren Haynes' his new album is called Man in Motion. He's got his guitar. He, let's get something out of him today. Yeah. What do you want to play, Warren? Uh, I think I'll play River's Gonna Rise. Right on. <laughs> New album, Man in Motion. That's uh, River's Gonna Rise. Damn. Everybody's saying like how great his voice is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, Warren's got the great, that the sounds, great voice. Sounds amazing. Absolutely. Thank you. We got Brian wow. from Tennessee. He's been waiting online for a while. He wants to talk about the new album. Uh, Brian, what's going on? Hey, guys. Hey. hey Warren. 
big fan. Congrats on the new album. Thank hey, I got you. A guitar question for you. Uh huh. Um, looks like you went with ES instead of Les Pauls in the new album tour. Um, is that based on the sound you wanted for the soul stuff, or is it more an aesthetic visual decision to distance yourself between uh, the new stuff and real? Uh, it was to get a different sound for the music, which I, I think uh, that kind of fits this this music uh, better than the Les Paul does. Uh, but it looks cool too. But, hmm. but yeah, yeah, sounds great either way. I was just hoping the Les Pauls weren't shelved forever. No, no, Les Paul is still my main guitar. But uh, for this record, I went for a cleaner sound, more reminiscent of like BB King and Freddie King, and uh, a little more old school. Yeah, it sounds great. Um, thanks for uh, booking the show in Knoxville. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, you guys have a good day. Thanks. All right, thank you. How how many days a year are you guys on the road? Uh, you personally, you know, I, I don't really keep track. I, I know in 2004 I did 180 shows, Jesus. and that's that's not counting <laughs> days off, travel days, recording, right. rehearsal. You know, uh, so, so you're never home. Not much. Yeah, I remember that from the last time you came in. What do you do when you're not playing the guitar? Uh, y- you know, music takes up a lot of my time. You know, if I have time off, I'm usually just kind of catching up on personal time. But, uh, you know, it's it's a good job when you do something you love. You guys know where I'm, where I'm coming from with that. Musicians you know? are weird guys, man, because I know, like like my brother, he's constantly just noodling around on the guitar. Right. Like, you can't even talk to him when he's just sitting around because he's just... Trying to figure some shit out. Just, no, just fucking around. And like, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's and that's annoying. all they do. That's annoying. Yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> we got a lot of people checking in. Let's say hi to Michael in North Carolina. Asheville, Mike? which is Warren's hometown, right? Asheville. Yeah, big big fanboy from Asheville. We love you, Warren. Thank you. Down here at uh, Beer City, USA again for the third year straight now. Awesome. <laughs> but I just wanted to call in. Big fan. Wanted to say hey. Well, thank you very much. You don't have a question about his new album? Anything? No. I yeah, because he thought he just wanted to say he hi. Thought he'd be more responsive to "I'm from where you from." Yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Good, that's why I left, asshole." Drink your beer. <laughs> I got the hell out of there. It's not as glamorous as I you played think it my is. I played my way out that pub <laughs> years ago. The one you're sitting in right now. <laughs> God, Michael, nothing. <laughs> and he nothing. had to do what he had. That's it. That's it. You got I'll something. Wait, you got something. Christmas jam, December. I'll be there too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Michael. Thank Thank you. I used to hang on Cricket Street. How about you? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, you uh, someone's reminding me. You, you might know Midnight uh, 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 Riders. Midnight right? Rider. Midnight Rider. I bet you I know a lot of songs. I just, yeah. it's just I ha- you have to go. Oh, that's the Almond Brothers, and then you like I didn't know. Give What's a little it? taste of that. Fucking Let's see. Let's Electric Light Orchestra. Now I got. I know about five of their songs now. That's Midnight. Yeah. Rider. Um, yeah, that's that's the, the yeah. basis of Midnight Rider. Yeah, that was a big hit. I'm gonna that Almond, was a, that was Almond a Brother. Damn up big hit. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the Almond Brother thing. That's definitely a big hit. But I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Warren thing too because that song you played. Yeah, yeah. You liked it? Yeah, yeah. He had it. It was it, it was it was saying something. That was good. Yeah. Little freedom. He said more more. Mo- he said mo- freedom is better than money. You didn't hear that? You caught that? Isn't that? You kind of said that, right? I kind of did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. you kind of said that. That's right. Freedom better than money, man. It's so fucking beautiful. Let's say hi to John in Florida. Warren Haynes in the studio. John. Hey, uh, hey there, Patrice. Hello, sir. Hey, uh, Warren. Have you ever been handed a song that you turned down because you just didn't feel it? Uh, handed? You mean like from a stranger or? No, just for, I mean maybe from one of your friends or something like that, and they wanted you to sing a song, and you said, "I just don't feel it. I can't sing it." Yeah, I mean uh, you got to kind of believe what you're singing. You know, I'm uh, a lot of times, even if a song's really good, it doesn't mean that I'll be able to feel it or do it justice. Yeah, so that that definitely happens. Yeah, he's gone. That was it for him. Uh, God, uh, Al, what's going on, brother? Al. Yeah. I'll... Ask Warren about David Allen Coe. Any good stories? 
Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Somebody, exactly. Somebody from Asheville. Was exactly. It, was it uh, a little bit daunting to play with uh, with Phil Lesh going out and playing some of those those dead tunes? Because that crowd, it's like playing, it's like a bunch of comic book nerds, sort of the dead <laughs> crowd. It's like being the, the, the main band at Comic-Con or something, except they're all on shrooms. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I thought they... Uh, uh, treated me great you know uh i'm sure there are some fans that are so hardcore that they, jerry they, yeah. that, you know that they don't want to to see anybody else playing that music and that's cool that if that's the way you feel um i think 90 percent of them uh enjoyed it uh oh definitely i, I, know I enjoyed it that was the main thing well, and, that was know. a nice thing it was a different twist on those songs you know the that's what the guys want you know uh, and, and I've said this uh, many times, and it started when I joined the Allman Brothers, because coming into the Dwayne Allman role in the Allman Brothers, that's a daunting uh, task if if you choose to look at it that way. But from the beginning, the the guys didn't want me to copy Dwayne Allman. They wanted me to be myself. And the same with the dead when I uh, joined the dead. Nobody expects you to, to play or sing like Jerry Garcia. It's like... When when you lose a band member, especially one that important, the most you can hope for is to kind of stumble upon some chemistry that hopefully rivals the, the chemistry that you lost. But you're not going to get that same chemistry back ever. It was the, to watch the crowd because there were songs the dead stopped playing a long yeah. time ago, and when you guys like fired into Saint Stephen, people went bananas. Yeah, there were a bunch of songs that we brought out that had not been played in a long time, and. Uh, some of some of the Jerry songs and some of the Pigpen songs that I was singing that, you know, the band probably hadn't done in thirty years. Wow. Yeah, it was amazing. Is that is that uh, happening this summer? Nothing as of now. Yeah. Okay. Who's your mentor or somebody you might have had a uh, like a, a dude crush where you go, man, I love this guy's guitar work, and you go, damn. Well, the first uh, three guitar heroes for me were Eric Clapton, Jimi Hendrix, and Johnny Winter. Jesus. Uh, but I'm a huge. Uh, bb king fan and i i met bb a long time ago and if we've hung out before but, this is his uh, guitar right or this is the county this, plays, right? yeah the county plays okay uh but i finally got to play with him last year for the first time and that was just like a, a huge thing for now me. Are you would you be like in, in intimidated or you're like it's excited because it's excitement or is it like i, I don't want to f up or you just You've been doing it so long, you know you're not going to mess up, but you just go, Well, you, do you relish it? you enjoy it? Absolutely. Something like that? Absolutely uh, relish it and enjoy it. And there's some intimidation there. You know, when you're mm -hmm. meeting one of your heroes, uh, there's definitely some intimidation. But uh, usually, especially with somebody like him, he's so gracious that he just makes everybody feel comfortable. It seems comfortable. like music people, that could be horseshit, but I, I'm probably in the pop world is different, but it seems like in the artist world, it's a lot more... Uh, ingratiating a lot more love between people who were you know it's more respect and love like comedians we you know we hate each other we play it off but we don't support each other <laughs> and but it seems like guitarists and everybody they just it's more it's love it's, it's not like as more competition until it gets to be mm. pop fame type mm -hmm. of thing but it just just loving it seems like if people who love it love each other you know what I, I, mean? I think real musicians gravitate toward each other if you hear somebody that you think can really play or really sing then there's there's some sort of appeal there you think well i'd like to to play with this person because it's there's a improvisational language thing that happens you, you seem know. too nice to ask this question i'm asking okay who's a hack because <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. i because look i had a you know again white world I, I i looked on a drummer's list and this dude from rush the drummer from Rush is, is number one on right. everybody's list now right. in White World. Right. So I'm talking to my buddy who knows guitar, uh, knows drums a little bit. <laughs> I go, how the fuck can you go? <laughs> and Neil this Park. guy's one on everybody's list. Well, so I'm saying he like? like he thought uh, Bonham, but Bonham was five on no no more no higher than five on everybody's list. So okay, good. But he's like Neil Peart's. So like who? Gets the accolades like like say just I'm just throwing like say on on a lot of lists it's like Jimi Hendrix is the guy so who's a guy that's on a lot of lists that you you might go you don't have to answer but you might go eh. he's not gonna I think somebody else should answer that yeah, he's not right answer. that's what I'm saying that's why I figure it's just too too fraternity like but it's like you know who's the guy because you hear Clapton Patrice oh, yeah, you yeah. hear uh, what's the other guy the, uh, uh, Steve Ray Vaughan 
of guitar, you know. But mm-hmm. and you just you let know. me ask this: you ha- you do have a name in your head, though, right? You don't I'll have pr- to say. I probably have a bunch of names. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'd also like to keep working. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. I knew. It's a good I, it's question. Just, it seems like, like it, you know, he ain't fucking. But it, but I was just curious to know if somebody actually goes Jimi Hendrix. <sighs> Listen, uh, we're getting basic questions. Government Mule, when when are they coming back? When are you guys coming back? Uh, we're actually going to do Mountain Jam, which is this festival that uh, that I co-promote in upstate New York, which is the beginning of June. Uh, my new band, the Warren Haynes Band, is going to play Friday night, and Government Mule is going to play Saturday night, and that's the only time this year that that's going to happen. Right. Uh, Government Mule's taken a well-deserved break. We've been on the road since 1994. Jesus. And... So we've been talking about taking a break for several years, so we finally decided to do it, which gave me the opportunity to put out this solo record. So I'm going to be promoting it most of the year, and then when that runs its course, uh, Government Mule is going to start working on new material and right. you how, know, excited about it. How do you pay your bills? Uh, <laughs> He's never home, man. <laughs> Who gets your mail for well, you? Got a, your wife, how long have you been married? I've been married 14 years coming up, uh, and my wife does uh, a She's lot. She's a trooper. Does she hit the yeah. road with you a little bit? Uh, she comes a few places Here if it's there. somewhere she wants to come. You know? Right. And not the shitholes? No. But you don't play as many shitholes anymore. Mm-hmm. But she chooses... She, places she would she, like to she come, fixed you know? it, and, which is great. That's what I would do if I were her too. Right. Can we get another song out of you? Uh, sure. Okay. What's it gonna be? Uh, it's up to you. I, whatever you want to play. All right. Last time you were here, you played Soul Shine, which was yeah. Amazing. So I didn't want to do that again. And you played uh, Old Friend, which was amazing. It turned uh, me on yeah. to a new song there, my friend. I remember that. Yeah, it was really good. All right. Let's see. What whatever you want to do. I shall. Step down for 
since I lost you. That's off the new album, man. That's unbelievable. Uh, yeah, Sick of My Shadow, of course, off Man in Motion, Warren Haynes' new CD. Is that how it ends on the album? No. On the CD? No, on the, on the CD, the guitar and the saxophone trade off and get bigger and bigger and bigger and crazy, and it uh, oh. kind of fades out. Hmm. One of the pandemonium. I, and I, I never could figure out how to end it when I'm playing it by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying, dude, the I was at mid head bob. I know, that's great. <laughs> you do just get mesmerized, you know? You just kinda, yeah, and then it stops. You're like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> yeah, it's like somebody yanked the cord out. Like, yeah. Hey, Warren, uh, I, got a, I got a question man. for you. Uh, not to call out Anthony, but he's not a big fan of the blues. Uh-huh. Uh huh. What is it about the blues that you like? Uh, it makes you feel better. You know, I mean. The people say, "Oh, blues is depressing." No, blues is what takes you out of your depression. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's feel good. I'm not even making. I didn't, an know, I didn't know you didn't like blues. No, I don't. But I'm not making, uh, and I'm not covering anything up. That to me is great because the singing's great. It's like. It's got a great Can melody to honest? it. Can you be honest? No, he's being honest. Because he's, he's a, a white guy playing. Just say you no, don't like because no, it's no, usually no. old black guys. No. 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 I zabba, zabba, Hold zabba. On. I should explain. He doesn't like real old school blues. I think he likes blues influences as music yes, progresses. Exactly. But like he, he never got into Muddy Waters or any of those I guys. I just don't more, like like when more. every song ends like. Bow, 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 yeah. That's the one he just played. Yeah. What if he said, Dan it? I used to be an air conditioner repairman. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, see, I that, used to have a long mullet. That to would me you, gets, would you relate to him? That, then? <laughs> no, that to me gets monotonous. But that I but like. But that's not is all melodic. of the fucking shit. It's though. got, no, it's got the verse, the chorus. I know. It's, like, yeah. it's nice. It's fucking melodic and and. Uh, Sounded great. Could you I just say that. your races? Why, why yeah, well, we no, this? I don't have to say that anymore. It's like the sky's blue. Yeah, but what, right. <laughs> you, you enjoy it, so thank you. And then hopefully this will open you up to go, wait a minute. There's some songs that sound like the songs, you know, Warren did. He likes songs you that... You like Led Zeppelin? Hey, he look. likes songs that are influenced by the blues, but he doesn't like the real old school down I and dirty blues. Because why? I eat Jif peanut I butter, but I, I'm sure it tastes better than that George Washington Carver crap. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, like the after it's been, I like after it's been whitified. But, but <laughs> whitified. I, don't, I don't think it's... <laughs> I don't think you it's don't as simple. Like that nigga peanut butter? No. You just... I don't, like, th I don't I like think it's as, I don't think it's as simple as that. So you don't you keep... what? I don't think it's a black thing uh, as far as the blues go. Yeah. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. You no, like it's not. It's uh, because I don't like a lot of white artists that play that that type of blues. Like who? Just, Eric Clapton. Um, you know what? I like Eric Clapton's hits, but sometimes it could get monotonous to me. Fair enough. I don't know. There's there's. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like that old school George black George Washington peanut butter. Carver peanut butter. You know how awful George Washington Carver's peanut butter must have been? He just ground up peanuts. It's like, ah, oh, no. Peanuts and oil. Shit no good it's white, the same recipe No good white now. man preservatives right. in there. And, it's the same shit you get at Whole Foods. What are you Jesus, talking about? No, no, yeah, but see, that you just brought up a good point. High fructose white man syrup. You brought up a good point, though. Without Muddy Waters, there would be no Led Zeppelin. Without George Washington Carver, there would be no Jif. Exactly. So he, uh, he just got to get you know, away without the cotton gin. He tells gin. Big Mama Thornton, "Go die, fat nigga," <laughs> and it, I'm going to enjoy Elvis. It's very simple. It's a very simple it's equation. It's very simple. <laughs> I'm not a complicated man. Warren, who's your old school uh, blue guy, uh, blues guys? Uh, you mentioned BB King, who goes uh, pretty far well, back. I'm a I'm a big fan. I mean, you know, BB King, Freddie King, Albert King, Muddy Waters, Helen Wolf, Moore James, Sun Howl House. Wolf. You know, I love Albert Did you like King, Gary yeah. Moore? Uh, Speaking never, of a white blues he guy, was, he was a great guitar we player. Lost him I, never, I never met him, but he was a great guitar. Still player. got the blues was a pretty damn good album. Yeah, Gary, Gary was quite a quite a great player. Uh, someone that I'm surprised we never met because you know, yeah, no kidding. Most people in that world I've crossed paths with at right. some point, you know. Yeah, um, but I, I love the old stuff. But you know, it when I was a kid, I didn't get Muddy and and Wolf and Robert Johnson and stuff like that. It took me a while. But then at some point, if you listen to it a much, if you listen to it enough, it starts penetrating. You know? Are you a lot of guys in the business favorite guy? Like, uh, are you a, a, a guitar player's guitar player? 
Uh, yeah. how, do I, how do I answer that? Yeah. Uh, Warren, Warren is. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't, you know, I, mean, I know you're not lost. being. I, 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 I want you to answer that. I in mean, the, please. In, in the way that, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, I've gotten a lot of accolades as a guitar player more so than as a mainstream pop star, you know. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So you you are the the people who know guitar and the people who play. Oh fuck you're, yeah. You're in there. You are in He's the mix. Be, I'll Thankfully. Answer. I'll answer. He's okay. Thankfully, so. Fair enough. Okay. Everybody wants to work with Warren. He's been uh, you've done work with uh, Dave Matthews too, right? Dave Matthews, I uh, go way back with those guys. How uh, many bands have you been in? I've never that we actually know of. I, I'm I'm not a I've never really been in that band. I just you we know what just I mean. Friends. We'll work with, I guess. Oh, I mean, I've you at know, that level, tons. Yeah, I know. you know. I mean, I've been really fortunate to have worked with almost everyone who's still alive that would be on my list of people I'd yeah. like to work when with. When someone's you know. sick, they call Warren. Hey, Warren, can you get to New York? Uh, we need you. You got to be <laughs> sick to call me. <laughs> But what else do we? I, I mean, we would love another song, but we don't want to push our luck with you because you're you've been gracious <laughs> enough to play a couple. I'll do, right. I'll do for uh, for for Anthony. Just uh, just say the racist. Not, not a whole song. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> oh, nice black one. I hope. Oh, see. Yeah. Like That's this. Colin Wolf. Yeah. Oh. I like this. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> I'm tired of you. I'm ready. <laughs> See, shut up! I'm tired of you. Tired of you. Cover up, covering up your racism. <laughs> oh, I like this one. Warren's fingers play it just a little bit. Uh, I have to cover up my racism to a white guy. <laughs> Going down slow, baby. <laughs> yeah, why don't you have Patrice sing? I, I man, if I can remember you going down sing? slow, I, if I can't remember. I have had my fun. I. Oh shit, my brain. I'm. 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 This, I have had my fun. If I never get well no more, my favorite part is, please write my mama, tell her the shape I'm in. For my sin. <laughs> I um. Uh, <laughs> oh wait, wait. I, I, I um. Uh, I uh. I uh. <laughs> um. I can something that kings and queens will never know. I'm on the spot. This is not making me nervous. Yeah, very Fuck spot. me. I, um. You got the voice though, Patrice. Damn! Please write my mom. Of course he does. He <laughs> pulled that. You pulled that right up too, man. Oh please! Going yeah. down slow. He's a Holland Wolf fan because he just pulled that. Absolutely. Oh man. Mm. Damn. <laughs> I got, I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be singing it in my car. <laughs> <laughs> I had the fucking opportunity to do and it I with hands and you <laughs> fucked it up. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> You should get the lyrics great, up man. real fast. Yeah. You can play us out. Oh shit! What is the lyrics? <laughs> Give me the lyrics, somebody. Oh, oh, yeah. you're going over here. I'm up on the teleprompter. Yeah, He's too busy we'll it. upset that somebody's cutting into it. I can't believe in L.A. people turn on their radios in prime time and it's him. Ah, oh, yeah. Has, oh, Sam does his little show. He does, he does his show now. He turned into his show. It's it's supposed to be kind it. of our show. I love, we lost oh, a moment. Listen, uh, as we try to find that, yeah, find that for Patrice real fast. The new album is called, the new CD, whatever, is uh, Man in Motion. Getting great reviews, the Warren Haynes uh, <laughs> disc there. And anything else we're promoting? Any gigs? Any... Uh, Beacon Theater Thursday. Damn. Hey, can we go? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna hit up Steve Leeds for some tickets. Is he out there? He's right out there. I saw. Yeah, him. And that's a sellout like already, right? Oh, fuck I'm yeah. sure, right? It's already. That is such a great venue because they don't shake you down. <laughs> you can mule stuff in. <laughs> <laughs> that's because they have black plays there, and they, they just don't even deal with it no more. <laughs> Please right. don't hit me in the face, man. You get hit with a flashlight for smoking a joint. There's so many venues in this city that are just a bummer to go to. And, it, and, and this is joint music or whatever. This is sweet right. music, and you just oh, chill yeah. out. and. Absolutely. Did, Did you, you have your day, sir, in, in that world? Because you, you look pretty completely sober, sober yeah. yeah. Uh, I am completely sober. Mm. Uh, he looks like he's he's repressing some... <laughs> he's there's an evil button somewhere, but he is not <laughs> dealing with that he no more. He has to be sober with all the dates he's doing. You I can't keep up that I schedule. Know. How long has it been? Uh, alcohol was twenty eight years, Damn. but it, it was never 
because I had a drinking problem. I just kind of gave it up because I didn't really enjoy it. Wow. Um, and pot last week? Uh, last week. <laughs> let's see. It wasn't heroin because his hands looked good. You know, I had a puffed up heroin hand. <laughs> I'm glad I'm He's right it. there, Patrice. <laughs> I'm looking. I'm just. I'm we just can do, we can do this break report. after he leaves. <laughs> He's right there. Yeah, I'm glad I'm getting a good report. <laughs> right. Not that my mom listens to this show or anything, but, uh, I, you know, she <laughs> might. <laughs> Hey, we got the lyrics. Maybe, uh, maybe these oh, two. What's the name of the song? Going, Going down, down slow. slow. Going down slow. Maybe you guys could just play us out. That'd be kind of cool. Because yeah, Patri- I didn't realize Patrice had a voice. And Patrice, Big Mama Prods, and he's. Uh, and doing I'm in Marco Island this weekend. This weekend, uh, yeah, okay, uh, very cool. Captain Brian. Do you mind playing us out with that, Warren? Sure. If we got I think the I, lyrics. If I'm reading, I think I definitely. <clears throat> All right, this is a, a little weird. It's going to be Patrice O'Neill, Warren Hayes. Man, yeah. this is all spoken. Man. You know I've been enjoying things that kings and queens will never have. In fact, kings and queens can never get. Mm. And they don't even know about it. In good times, mm. great googly moogly. Go- great googly moogly. <laughs> If I never get well no more I have had my fun If I never get well no more Oh, my health is fading on me spent more money than a millionaire because if i had kept all my money that i already spent i would have been a millionaire a long time ago and women ooh, women great googly moogly please write my mama shape I'm in Please write my mama Tell her the shape I'm in That's all oh, right. Yeah. That was, that's Harlem Wolves. You got to listen to Harlem Wolves, though, man. That's it's all right. right. It's song. You got a voice on I'm you, going down slow. He just said, right tell my mom I love him. I'm out of here. All right, listen. Damn. We're going to wrap up. Warren, Great thank googly, you so moogly. much, man. My we pleasure. really appreciate you coming by. The Absolutely. new CD, once again, Man in Motion, doing great. People are going to love that. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'll be at the Beacon Theater Thursday. Fuck that. Cool. All right. And Laszlo, the game, once again. L.A. Noir. Yes. Comes out. Yeah, you're on. L.A. Noir comes out uh, a week from today. Uh, next Tuesday. Pre-order Scoop now to avoid up. disappointment. Walmart.com, uh, Amazon. And that's it for us today, I guess. Yes, it is. Once again, Warren Haynes, everyone. Yeah, thank you. See you man. tomorrow. Great. This is the Open Anthony Show. Open Anthony. Open Anthony. On the virus. Serious XM.